Hi everyone, Sharon here with Max Senior. Today we're going to look at photos. It's a huge subject that I get asked more questions about than any other application. How do I save my photos? What's PhotoStream all about? What is the Photo uh, iCloud library? And all of those different questions. The best place for you to learn about photos is to go to your closest Apple store and take one of their workshops on photos. And if you can't remember how to find those workshops, we're going to look at that in this video. So thanks for being with me and I hope it's helpful. This is the icon for iPhotos and this is the iPhotos upgrade called Photos. With Photos, I can keep all of my photos in a cloud, which means they're safe. They're safe and they're accessible to me anytime I have access to the internet. And when I go to the internet and sign in to my iCloud account, here's all of my information, including my photos that I have access to right then. And I love that. So how many photos can you store on the free five gigabytes that Apple gives you? About 1,700. But for just 99 cents a month, I get 50 gigabytes. And every time I see the charge on my bank statement, it makes me laugh and say, thank you, Apple. <laughs> so back to photos. What I want you to do now is go into iBooks on your device and open up your user guide. Whether it's a phone you're using or an iPad, I want you to open up your user guide. Okay, this is my bookshelf and I'm going to go and click on the iPad user guide. Now remember that, um, I, of course, I'm using my Mac to demonstrate this, but you would touch your finger near the top left-hand part of your screen to cause this to appear. And this is your table of contents. So when you click on that or touch that, you're going to see this. And what I want you to do is go down to Photos. So this is what you're going to get when you go to Photos. And really, this is what you need to read and understand to make the best decision as to how you're going to treat your photographs. Whether or not you're going to want to have PhotoStream turned on or not, and whether or not you're going to want to have your iCloud library activated um, so that you always have access to your photographs and you don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to drop off in 30 days because that is the case with uh, with PhotoStream. PhotoStream will hold them for 30 days uh, and then they'll drop off or they'll keep a thousand photos. Okay, so I said in the beginning that we would revisit how to look up a workshop at your local Apple store. So you go to, up to the URL bar and all I have to do is hit apple.com forward slash and a W and my computer populates it and says oh you mean the one in Walnut Creek because that's the one that's closest to me. So this is my store and if I scroll down I could click on workshops but if I keep scrolling down there they all are. Now see, right here is one, shoot more artistic photos with iPhone, and it has availability. You can reserve it. So here's, look at all these different things. Then uh, you can view more, Apple Basics, new ways to work with iPad Pro and FileMaker. There's just all kinds of classes that you can take. I just love that they offer these classes. Look at that iPhone photography. That's on March 3rd. That's coming right up. You could go there and reserve that. Anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, let's see. If I wanted to do that, I would say reserve. And then it would take me to uh, where I need to put in my Apple ID, password, and then it would sign me up. Okay, so that's it. I hope this has been helpful. I know I haven't covered all of it, but your answer is Apple. Go to the Apple website, search for help there, and you, I know you'll find it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.